also material riches and wealth and lots of children and good things in this world and the creation uh, isn't the highest form, is actually one of the lowest forms of mercy. Or it could be, it could be a woe too, not instead of a mercy to you. Like if you have lots of children and lots of riches, but you spoil it off and waste it and don't do good with it and you're just greedy and selfish, uh, then your riches will be a woe to you. And you can, not only can they be a disaster and a torment to you, but you can lose all of your riches uh, in this life. And not doing good with the riches and things you're given is one of the things that can earn you uh, hell uh, in the eyes of Allah Ta'ala. And the afterlife is what's important because Allah created you and ordered the stars and the moon and is the all-powerful God, the all-powerful Allah Ta'ala. And he gives you his light so that you can do good, uh, not so you can hoard it and waste it and spoil it off. And he gives different people the light they're given to test their character, uh, if they can earn the, the gardens of bliss and peace and happiness from him instead of uh, the hellfire that is uh, given to the people that are disobedient to his order <clears throat> uh, and way of life that he's given to people uh, in the life they're given.